أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إن المنافقين في الدرك الأسفل من النار ولن تجد لهم نصيرا إلا الذين تابوا وأصلحوا واعتصموا بالله وأخلصوا دينهم لله فأولئك مع المؤمنين وسوف يؤت الله المؤمنين أجرا عظيما ما يفعل الله بعذابكم إن شكرتم وآمنتم وكان الله شاكرا عليما رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لسان يفقه قولي فالحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم قرآن ويكلي I actually wanted to share with you ayah number 147 from the 6th, 6th juz surah al-Nisa still and but I, I read three ayah, two ayat before that too in which Allah says the hypocrites will be in the lowest pit of the hellfire then he says the only ones who won't be in the hellfire are the people who repented among the hypocrites meaning there are people who suffered from hypocrisy and came back so hypocrisy is not a terminal state you can come back from it. You can suffer from this disease and come back to believing also. Because the door to Tawbah is still open. Beautiful thing to know. Wa aslahu wa tasamu billah. And they corrected themselves, they reconciled, they fixed themselves up, and they held on to Allah. Wa akhlasu dinahum lillah. And they made their religion sincere to Allah. Because obviously, what's the problem of a, of a hypocrite? Insincerity. They made their religion sincere to Allah. Then those are among the mu'mineen. Fa ulaika ma'al mu'mineen. Now they, they're counted among believers. They're no longer considered hypocrites. So they came right back in, and that old label that they had on them has been shed. And soon Allah will give the, hypocr the, the, the true believers rather a great compensation. Now, the ayah began, hypocrites will be in the lowest pit of the hellfire. Uh, uh, you know, and you, when you worry about hypocrisy, this is Surah An-Nisa, 60 or so ayat are dedicated just to hypocrisy. It's a pretty serious subject, and it's pretty depressing because you start wondering, am I a hypocrite? Allah Azza wa Jalla at the end of it says, and this is the reason I chose this particular passage. Allah tells people who are so buried in sin and they're so deeply engrossed in sin, they think Allah, there's no way Allah will forgive me. And then they, shaitan comes to them and says, yeah, Allah is going to punish you. You're going to go to hell. And then they hear one of those khutbahs where everybody's going to hell. And then after the end, the end of it all, then you start saying, why did Allah make a hell anyway? Why does Allah get out of punishing me? Why does He want to throw me into hellfire? You know, why are this, you know, these intense punishments there? And Allah says, مَا يَفْعَلُ اللَّهُ بِعَذَابِكُمْ This is the ayah I wanted to share with you. What is Allah going to get out of punishing you? Why, why do you think He wants to punish you? What is Allah going to do punishing you? You think that's what He wants? إِن شَكَرْتُمْ وَآمَنْتُمْ If you could just be grateful a little bit. If you could just have a little faith. وَكَانَ اللَّهُ شَاكِرًا عَلِيمًا And Allah Himself is appreciative. Shakir is used, supposed to be used for the slave. Allah uses it for Himself. Allah will be appreciative. I'm not going to translate it as grateful, because that's not what it means here. He'll appreciate the fact that you could think of the good things Allah has done for you. Like a great scholar whose child, like Hassan al-Basri's child was injured, and because he, he loved his daughter, he ran after her, picked her up. You know, what happens? Your hand, okay, it was bleeding. And she says, Alhamdulillah, you know, thank Allah, the one who only allowed me to be hurt here and kept the rest of my body safe. If you could just look at what to be grateful for, in shakartum, and you truly, re really have faith, then Allah Himself is truly appreciative and He knows what you're going through, whatever problems you're going through, He is not interested in punishing you. Even in another place in Quran, Allah says, إِلَّا مَنْ رَحِمَ رَبُّكَ وَلِذَلِكَ خَلَقَهُمْ Except for the people who Allah shows mercy to, and that is why He created them. He created them so He could show them love and mercy. May Allah make us qualified for His love and mercy, and may Allah not let any of us lose faith in His love and in His mercy and in the fact that the doors of Jannah are open waiting for us to enter through them. Barakallahu li walakum. Wassalamu alaikum Quran Weekly.